Emily sent us an email with an interesting twist. Normally we get emails from homeowners. This time Emily was just elected to her homeowner association, Chuck, uh, and the board. And she's wondering if one of the homeowners in her community is renting out their home as an Airbnb. Uh, and then what can she do? The homeowners association board legally has stops them if there is a rental as an Airbnb. And she's wondering about the regulations. This seems to be a topic that keeps getting brought up here. It does. Um, and it's going to uh, depend a lot on what the uh, uh, rules and regulations of the uh, association say. Mm -hmm. um, some don't even speak to the topic. Others do. Um, some talk about, uh, you know, whether you're conducting business in the property. Is that conducting business or not? Um, uh, are you allowed to rent property out? It, it just depends on the association's documentation. But um, if the uh, if the uh, documentation doesn't allow it, uh, the way that I've suggested to some people is to, well, first off, you have to you know, send out the letter, say, hey, uh, there's a problem here. You need to come into compliance. You know, Otherwise, there's liens going to be placed against the property. But as a practical matter, um, it may very well be that uh, with the new restrictions on where uh, you can put an Airbnb and what you need to do, maybe something you just run by the local government folks and mm -hmm. see if maybe they don't solve the problem for you. That's a good idea. We're going to take a break. Still with us here is Chuck Crosby. He's the head guy at the Crosby Law Offices. You can reach him at 499-6360. Somewhere out there trying to get back in is uh, Steve Phillips with Swan Financial, 439-2859. If you're thinking about selling your home, we can help you. All you got to do is uh, give me a call for a free no-obligation analysis of how to get you on the market and what we need to do to get you rolling. And you can reach me at... 376-5483 or go to bobsellslouisville.com. We're back in a moment on News Radio 840 WHAS.